indications from some of these past earthquakes, but not like this. This earthquake lasted about 30 to 45 seconds. That's how it was around our region and uh, just from my own knowledge, sitting here in the newsroom watching everybody uh, really kind of in a panic because you're really not sure exactly what started that shaking. And it, things were shaking uh, very violently around our region here in the northwest Washington area. We did get a report from Tom Kieran up around the Damascus area in Mount Airy. He said he felt that. He called in immediately. We have another report around the Baltimore area also saying that they felt the shaking too so i still would like to see what has happened down there towards the fredericksburg area because that is right right around where it was centered once again centered nine miles to the west of min or nine miles uh, from mineral virginia just to the east of the shenandoah just to the east of the blue ridge that's where set that and right now i think we have uh, chris gordon on the phone chris are you there chris do you hear me Okay, Chris Gordon, we're going, to be, we're going to continue to get crews up throughout the afternoon, but I can tell you right now, we're probably going to be on this story all day long, and you want to make sure you stay right here to NBC4 for the latest on this. Once again, we want to hear from all us. You can email us. You can, you can Facebook us at NBCWashington.com, and go on my Facebook page, too, NBCWashington.com slash Doug Cameron, and we'll try to get out any, any kind of reports that you have too, because we want to hear from you, the viewer, and how this affected your afternoon. This is going to be something that, uh, once again, just does not happen very often in our region. A 5.8 magnitude earthquake in our area a little bit earlier today, just down to our south and west, about 100 miles south and west of the Washington, D.C. region. You can see there. We don't have any damage right around the area. This is not going to cause damage to most major structures. I don't think we're going to see any major damage around the Washington, D.C. area. But down there towards Fredericksburg, going to continue to watch out for that. Veronica Johnson is with me now. And Veronica, go ahead with uh, some information that you found. Sure, just um, taking a look um, on, online. As we said, this is the sort of thing where a lot of people will say, I felt it, I definitely felt it. And that is really whatever you were doing. As we said, we've got reports as far north as uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and certainly there will be some as far south as perhaps even uh, areas like uh, Bristol and uh, Harrisonburg down in Virginia. But uh, when you take a look at that type of magnitude at 5.8, really anything between uh, 5 and 5.9, that is considered a moderate earthquake. It's a uh, type of quake that can cause a major damage to some poorly constructed uh, buildings. So there may be later today some reports of a couple of buildings close to the epicenter, which again is uh, just nine miles from Mineral, Virginia, so not too far from Fredericksburg, Virginia, at most slight damage to uh, well-designed buildings. And when you look at this type of quake at this type of magnitude, there are some 800 that occur each year, 800. Uh, so uh, moderate earthquake, uh, we are, um, I'm sure, going to be getting more and more calls uh, on this uh, throughout the afternoon. And Tom Sherwood is with us now. Tom, uh, you have some information, too, that you'd like to uh, relay. Well, we were all sitting there when the, when the building started rumbling. And, of course, one of the first things, that I got a call from my son in Bowie, who said that uh, his small office out there off of uh, uh, Central Avenue, uh, he said, we just, we ran outside. That's what you're running through. That's what people should do. You should always seek shelter from a strong support, not run outside. What, is, what do people do when something like this happens? But, and that's a Go into the table. The first in, in the bathtub. Area, we're not familiar with this. So, yeah, the first thing you want to do is get inside a doorway, an interior doorway, where you know that you have some support. But at the same time, you can get out there. If you if you don't have any buildings in your area, get out of your house if you were to feel feel that building or feel that building start to shake. And we may actually feel a couple of aftershocks. This was not yes. one of those seven or eight magnitude earthquakes, so I don't think we're going to be feeling those aftershocks for a few days. But we're Aww. going to be getting some aftershocks here too. So don't be surprised, especially down around that Fredericksburg area, especially down around Mineral Virginia, to see some of those aftershocks. They're going to be in the range of maybe a two, maybe a three or a four. Those aren't going All right. to be something that's well. So, I was in here playing Xbox, and I started feeling shaky, 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 and I thought it was a washing machine or something, and I was playing, and no more internet, can't connect, and no internet on that either, and so I got up, my mom started screaming and stuff, and this whole... Um, shelf started shaking, and the lightsaber thingy fell off from the top, and that's pretty much all that happened, and we like, 
ran downstairs and then pretty much it stopped. So it's pretty much what happened. That's where we see the epicenter of this of this uh, earthquake of 5.8 magnitude earthquake center nine miles once again to the west of Mineral, Virginia. Now, as far as uh, other earthquakes in, in the past, Veronica, you got some more? I do. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, a couple my minutes dad ago, we go. did have reports that not only mm -hmm. and the cell phones and everything aren't working. So, yep. Nothing. This is 5.8 on the Richter scale. I guess Virginia 2012 earthquake. Yep.